Okay, so today I want to quickly run you through setting up source tree to deal with merge conflicts, specifically dealing with Unity scene files. The problem we have is that Unity scene files are made up of YAML format text, uh, which can be very hard for a merge tool to actually piece together the changes between one file and another file. So there's a couple of ways we can help with that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add a custom merge tool. Uh, in this case, we're going to add a merge tool called Meld. And this is freely available on the internet. In fact, if you go to meldmerge.org, um, it will give you the download to be able to get your hands on it and have a look through it. It's a really nice GUI tool for sorting out uh, diffs and merges uh, with your Git repos. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell source tree normally if you were using html or c sharp or anything else you would tell source tree to use meld directly when you hit a merge conflict unfortunately as i've said previously because of the way that scene files are created in unity we need to use a little unity tool called unity yaml merge to sort through our scene file for us and then pass the results on to meld for us to deal with conflict now hopefully the idea is is that when we do this most of this will be automated uh, and will be sorted out during this unity now yaml merge phase so the process is we need to set source tree up to look at yaml t merge and we need to then set using yaml merge to look up meld and then go right back around to source tree when we're done okay so the first thing we need to look at is making sure that Unity is using the YAML format for its scene files. So to do that, we need to go into our Unity project and we need to go into Edit, we need to go to Project Settings, and we need to go to Editor, and then we need to set this Asset Serialization flag to Force Text. Now normally it's set to Mixed. Doing this will make sure that all the scene files we create use this YAML format, it's a bit like JSON or XML, um, that we can use in source tree to be able to see the difference between two files. So if I go into my Unity project, I'm just going to edit project settings, down into editor, and here in our asset serialization, mixed is the default. We want to set it to be force text. Okay. So that will mean that Git will be able to see the differences between files. So if I have a look in my little source tree demo, and let's have a look. Here's our Unity file. We can see here this is a text file, and it's been able to see the difference between two changes that we've made between an old version and the new version. So it allows us to commit changes within the scene. So now we've got that sorted out, the next thing we need to set up is our Unity, going back to here, we need to set up our Unity YAML merge. So to do that, we need to go into source tree and set our custom merge tool to be C drive, program files, Unity editor, data, tools, Unity YAML merge.exe. And then we're going to pass these parameters of merge dash p dollar base dollar remote dollar local dollar merged in that order as you see it so our command is going to go here and our arguments are going to go here so if i go into my source tree and i go into tools we get to options go to diff we see external merge diff here and they're already set to custom so by default they're set to system default we want to set to custom and then we're going to add in the URL to our Unity YAML merge tool. And we're going to set the arguments as set out here. Merge dash P dollar base dollar remote dollar local dollar merged. Uh, these are merely variable references uh, when we're merging. So uh, if we take this example, which we're going to do in a minute, where we're going to merge move crates into develop. So we're going to make a join here. We're going to be on develop. So develop is going to be our local branch. So the dot local is our local branch. And then the move crates branch is the branch we're moving into. So that's our remote branch. So move crates will be dollar remote. 
Now the base is the ancestor of both of these branches, which is going to be, we track it back, here's where they merge here. So this commit is going to be the dollar base used to compare these two commits when we merge them together. And the dot mer dollar merged is the output at the end, okay? Just so you have reference what that is. Now, before we can do that, what we need to do, if we go back here, we need to tell Unity YAML merge which tool we want it to use when it's finished. So we want to tell it to use meld. Now, to do that, we need to set up this file, which is in the same folder as our Unity YAML merge.exe. It's called merge spec file. So if I show you in Explorer, so we're in program files, editor data tools, and we can see down here we have our unity yaml merge.exe and our merge spec file.txt defines what we're going to fall back to so the default is set to this so it's using it's trying to find git and it's trying to use vimdiff as a tool you may or may not have this installed may not may or may not work and what we're going to do afterwards is we are going to set it to use meld using these parameters. And again, $R is remote, $B is base, $L is local. And our output of this would be our dollar merged. Okay. So as you see it here, and then we're going to add something on below this commented line for default fallbacks, and we're going to use meld again. So anyway, for so for Unity files, it's going to use meld. For prefab files, it's going to use meld. And for anything else it can't deal with, it'll use meld. Okay, so that should cover all scenarios. So if I just give you a quick look in Atom as to what this looks like. So this is the default file. There's loads of other stuff in here as well, but we don't need to worry about that. We are just looking at, and all these hashes of commented, so these aren't going to do anything. We're looking at this line. So once it's fixed, we've got we're using meld for Unity, yield for meld for prefabs, and we're using meld again as a default fallback. So this is how we finish. To start with, we have this. Use vim diff, no fallback. So hopefully you can see. Oh, there you are. Hopefully you can see the difference there. So it's just those three changes. Okay, so going back to here, we scroll back to here. So now we've got source tree set up to send things to Unity YAML merge. We've told Unity YAML merge to send things onto meld. And then when you save things in meld, it will go back around to source tree. So let's just see this in action. So what I have here is basic scene. And in our develop branch, we have three cubes. They are all on the same y axis, so a y of 2, okay, but different x and different z, okay, and we hit play, and we've got some rigid bodies, and we've just got the camera rotating, okay. Now, if we go onto our move crates branch and we reload our scene, you can see we have a red light instead of a yellow light, and this time we've set the x but each crate to be the same thing. So the X is three. So in the previous one, our Y was two, so they're all two. And this one, the X is three. So what I've done is change two different properties on the same line. Okay, so we'll go back to our develop branch. So different X, same Z, same Y. Different Y, same X, okay. So this should create a merge conflict. And we've got a yellow light and a red light. So what we do is we're going to go into develop now. And we're going to merge this in. And pick the commit to merge into our current branch. So we're on develop. Lo our local branches develop. Our remote branch is going to be remove crates. So we hit OK. OK, so here we go. We've hit this merge conflict now. So that's just all street telling us we have a merge conflict. So if we have a look at our uncommitted change, now you see all this stuff. This is basically where Git has found out there's differences. We're going to right click 
where we're going to resolve conflicts and we're going to launch an external merge tool okay if we resolve using mine mine is dollar local so that's develop if we resolve using theirs that's dollar remote that's going to be move crates so we want to be able to merge the two together not use one or the other so launch an external merge tool so the unity yaml merge is now doing its magic and it will now pass it over to meld so here we are here's melds now now we should have four changes here we should have a change for each crate in its x its y its z and we should have a change for the light changing from yellow to red now we only see three conflicts here and whether you can see this in this bottom corner we have one and there we go changes next conflict two and next conflict again three and if we go so there we are we're at the end three conflicts so unity yaml merge has managed to sort out the light issue with one light being yellow and one light being red it's sorted that it's done that automatically we don't need to worry about it we just need to deal with which of these we're going to deal with so this is a bit confusing because we don't actually say what is actually going on here what these files are i'm just going to quickly run through that with you so let's scroll up to our first conflict okay so normally on our left is our local branch on the middle is our base this is our ancestor and on the right is our remote so going back into source tree our local which is going to be our left view is why our crates on the y-axis let's develop on the right over here is our remote that's going to be move crates and this is good but they're all the same on the x-axis of three and then the base which is the one in the middle is coming back from this branch here this specific commit the merge branch bug fix reverse camera into develop so what we need to do is we need to pick so the middle one the base is the one that will be saved at the end we need to pick the left or the right depending on what we want to keep do we want to keep the crates with the y-axis of two and ignore the x or do we want to keep the x-axis of three and ignore the y values let's say for this example we want to keep the local changes on the develop branch our y of two so what i'm going to do is we're going to we want to keep the left side and this is why we see a change in the middle and we go to the next one and again this is our second crate so we want to keep the left side again and we go changes go next conflict and then finally this time we can choose the right one we can they don't have to all be the same so this time we're going to have one it's going to be x of three we have two that should be on the same y-axis and then one that's on a different y-axis so what we then do is we file save all and then close that window and you can see we've gone from having a triangle with an exclamation mark into just a standard change so what we can then do is we can commit that and we should have a standard merge commit message so we'll commit that okay. now this dot orange is just the original file so we don't actually need that so we can right click and we can remove that just to clear things up okay so now we can see we've branched off onto move crates we've created two commits on move crates we then create an extra commit on develop and then we've merged move crates back into develop and the result should be yeah so we have two crates that are on the same y-axis and then we've got one crate that where we kept the x-axis of three so go back to our move crates and we reload this they're all on the same x we load this one we're on the same y for the yellow light and our merge is a mix of both okay so that is how we set up dealing with merge conflicts in Unity. We use source tree. So we set up Unity to use its force all the text files first. So we're going through the editor, set force text. We're going to then use source tree to talk to Unity YAML merge. 
We're going to use Unity YAML Merge to then forward everything onto Meld. We fix things in Meld and we send it back to Source Tree. And then Unity can just reload its scene. Okay. So we have the extra slides here if we need it. Uh, and there we go. That's how you can set up Meld. For more details, we'll have some more videos for you. Okay.